Xavier is biking a nine mile trail. He bikes four and one third miles before stopping for water and then bikes another three and one fourth miles before stopping for water again. After the second water break, how many miles does Xavier have to bike before he finishes the trail? So I drew a diagram for us because this is a perfect question to draw a diagram for. So you, as we can see our total trail, nine miles, our first stop was four and one third miles, then we had three and one fourth miles, and now we need to figure out the rest. Drawing a diagram let shows out your key numbers and lets you know your goal all in once right here. This is a perfect time to use a diagram. So to figure this out, we're gonna to have to do nine minus four and one third minus three and one fourth. Or since we, we've been learning about PEMDAS, we could do nine minus four and one third plus three and one fourth. So what we're going to do, we're going to do one of these strategies and I challenge you to do a, another strategy to see if we did the correct work. So we're going to do strategy number one, okay? So nine minus four and one third minus three and one third. So what I'm going to do is first, I'm just going to subtract these whole numbers. So nine minus four, then nine minus three. So that alone, nine minus four equals five. Then five minus three equals two. Now, all we have to do is two minus one third, then minus one fourth. And that's a lot easier to do now. So I know two minus one third. Well, two is the same as six over three. So if we subtract these two, now we have five thirds. Now we're going to be doing five thirds minus one fourth. So what is our common denominators for three and four? So like I said, sometimes I just like writing out the numbers and writing out their multiples until I see a similar number. So three, four, six, eight, nine, twelve, twelve. 15, I see 12 twice, so my common denominator is going to be 12. So 5 over 3, I need to multiply that by 4 over 4. So 5 times 4, that's going to get me 20 over 12. And then 1 over 4, I need to multiply that by 3 over um, by three over 3. So that's going to give me 3 over 12. And when you subtract the 2, that's going to give us 17 over 12. Now, what is that as an improper fraction? Well, that's going to be 1 and 5 twelfths.